Hi guys and welcome back to our tutorial series. Uh, in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to create a laser pointer for your gun. And in order to do that we need a couple of things. I've already just made a, a laser pointer using a couple of cubes as you can see. And another cube inside of that. Let me delete this and I'm going to show you how to do it from scratch. Uh, yeah, once you made these cubes look for the player's gun which is an M4 and place it inside of there okay and I just called it laser pointer and I called another one inside of it holder Now the holder is gonna have the laser pointer actually showing out can you shrink it let me just shrink it down a bit there we go save it right let's continue um, Let's start creating a script for this. In the FPS script folder, right click, create a new JavaScript and call this laser. Um, laser is a good name, I think. Laser point. Double click open my develop. And let's start creating the variables we need. Right, the first one's going to be far. Uh, lowercase c color one and it's going to be a type color with a capital C and it's going to be equals to color yellow whoops I didn't do that it's going to be equals to color dot yellow okay copy that <coughs> and paste that there and change that to two, not yellow sorry it's gonna be red um, this one can be red as well for now save that now this is basically for the line render now before you continue do it, I will show you what that is if you go to components and it's in no so hold on where is it? Yeah, components particles and you got no it's not it's in one of these ones hold on there you go it's in this one and you can see it's line renderer right there okay normally you have to create it yourself you can if you click on something. line render right there uh, do I want to play, I don't say box collider there it is okay as you can see you can't see nothing I don't need to actually use it from here I'll be creating it through the script and that colors will be for the line render right the next one is gonna be for line Render it with the lowercase l. <coughs> it's going to be a type line renderer. Okay, save that. And in the start function, let's create the line renderer first. We're going to say line renderer, the one we created, our variable. It's going to be equals to a game object, and that game object is the cube that one there that the script will be attached to. Dot add component, open bracket, close bracket, open curly brace, line renderer. Okay, so we're saying to that game object add a line renderer. So it's going to go through this components then do that one then add a line render to that okay since it's done that we need to add the properties to it what material is going to have and so on okay so a line renderer dot material uh, it's going to be equals to a new I think it's uppercase yeah it is no it's not yeah material it's going to be a new material and we're going to look for a shader 
and we're gonna say shader dot find open bracket close bracket and close bracket one more time inside these two put speech marks and so here we want to look for the following one it's called particle um, particles or particle this particles slash additive something like that uppercase Um, yeah, well, uh, what that does is basically saying once we get the line renderer, add a new material to it, uh, look for the shaders, and find particles additive. Now, if you go to Unity, add. Let me add a quickly line render to this one. The material at the moment is set to nothing. Not sure I'm the wrong way. Hold on, this is the best way to show it. If I go right click here and create a new material, now oh, where is the hell? Create new material right there. Now, as you can see, this is what it's looking for. Okay, right here. See where it says diffuse? We said look for particle additive. Okay, so what's it gonna do? It's gonna go here and look for particles over here and look for this one. And got an error. What does it say? Line renderer dot material. It can't be the lowercase, it must be an uppercase. Yeah, it is uppercase. I'll right, we'll come, we'll come back to the loss. Uh, let me just continue. Um, okay, once you've done that, we want. Uh, to set the line render colors next. So line renderer dot set colors. It's got a property built into it. Open bracket, close bracket, closing semicolon. And in here we're gonna say the first color is gonna be color one. And the next one is going to be color two. There we go. Now let's set the width of the line renderer. Line renderer dot set width. Open bracket, close bracket. Uh, I'm going to set it to one for now, but I'll show you why I did this. Uh, line renderer dot set vertex point I'll tell you what that means in a minute vertex count sorry open bracket close bracket and set that to 2 I'll put semicolon not comma now this one I'll explain but this is just setting the width of the line renderer and this one's pretty important if I open Photoshop and show you quickly Anytime today will be good. Okay, if you go to new, click OK. When the line renderer is made, it has points in it. And um, we said two points, so that's one point, two point. So the line renderer is going to go, okay, you said two points, so connect that to that point. If we said one, you're going to see this. Nothing. You're just going to see that point, it won't shoot no line renderer out. Because we said two points, it will join it with that one and that one. If we said four, that, and that, it will join a line under like so. So it would be like this then. From there to there to there. That's what the points do. Okay, save this. Okay, so let's just go in Unity and make sure. <clears throat> okay, there is still that error there. Hold on, what is it then? Oh, 
Oh, okay, I see. I see what's going on. Um, it's not lowercase f. It's dot find with a capital. All right, that's that. Good. That's all you need to set up a line render. Okay. Now we just start setting its origin and where it's going to come from, where it's going to start, the starting point, and so on and so forth. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to say far origins and it's going to be from the transform position so it's going to be equals to transform dot position now remember not our transform it's the light transform sorry the the whole transform which is this okay that's that done we want what direction do we want it to shoot out from and which is the forward in this case so we're going to say far direction and it's going to be equals to transform dot forward close that <clears throat> now the next one is going to be far endpoint where does the array end so not the array sorry the line under so it's going to be equals to origins origins plus direction times how long you want the line runner to be so I'm going to just give it a good long value okay that's that done next thing you need is the ray, ray cost stuff so for hit Obviously, you know what it's going to be. Raycast. Hit. Okay. Now that we have the liner and stuff set up and the positioning that it's going to start from the directions in the face and where the endpoint is, we're going to start using the raycast to see where we're heading. And then we're going to decrease the line renderer. So we're going to say if open bracket, close bracket, open curly brace and close curly brace. We're going to say in this physics dot raycast, open bracket, close bracket. Inside this, you want the origins position and comma, oops, comma, I think I've got a direction here, direction comma hit save and then we're gonna say over here endpoint why is it not showing any of the variables endpoint doesn't matter endpoint is gonna be equals to hit point and then we're gonna say line render dot Set point, uh, what's this? Set? Uh, set position, open bracket, close bracket, one, comma, end point. All right. Oh, sugar, I forgot to do something. Copy this, and we need to set the line render now. Uh, paste that above the physics ray cost and put this to zero and replace it with origins and save okay so far no errors uh, take that script and attach it to holder no uh, where is it laser point laser point there we go as you can see the line under is red red color when it makes it you'll see it attaches it there you go aha <clears throat> why is that happening because the positions updating constantly we're going to change that okay just want to show you that as a simple mistake and you see how big the line render was that's because of the width we set ourselves change this to late update we don't want it to update much Okay, and now as for the set width, 0 0.2 is a reasonable one. 0 0.2 and save. And now if you look at the difference, 
you'll see it completely change. There you go, you see it didn't update the the line render and zero point zero point two is still too big. I'll save it and that should be okay now okay that's interesting so it goes fine when it's looking at anything else but hold on a second I think it's a simple mistake down here. Okay, so does it? Hold on, let me have a look what's going on there. Okay. Ah, okay, I see what the issue is. Um, on this if statement here, just delete the two curly braces and now it should be okay. <clears throat> yep, there you go. That's uh, a simple, very basic um, laser pointer. Now as you can see, it actually cuts itself down if you hit something. So if I show you this from this perspective, you can see it carries on going non-stop. But if I touch the ground, you see it comes, it cuts itself down to the end of the point. Yep. Well, there you go, guys. That's how you create a very basic laser pointer. It's still not finished yet. Do not forget that. I need to add the a dot at the end later on I'll do that and uh, yeah as always thank you for watching don't forget to rate comment subscribe and I will see you soon take care bye bye